Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. When Bethany Platt's boyfriend Daniel Barlow first unexpectedly discovered her stoma bag, it was heartbreaking to witness her unfiltered anguish. Bethany's self-disgust and embarrassment were masterfully conveyed by actress Lucy Fallon as she erupted into a fit of panic and demanded that Daniel go. She had been offered a low deal by the cosmetic clinic she was writing about after having a botched liposuction in Turkey in September that left her with a ruptured gut and potentially fatal infection. But in order to save her life, medical professionals had to step in when it became clear that Bethany's medical insurance would not pay for the hospital stays, her family was dealt a double blow, divided between worry for Bethany and worry about how they would pay for the care. Bethany struggles with the psychological, physical, and financial effects of her vanity while the typical plot drama plays out around her. She hides behind loose clothing, stays inside, and pushes Rob Mallard's character Daniel away because she fears closeness and believes he would find her stoma repulsive. Viewers will witness him entice her out on a date in the following week once he eventually persuades her of his love for her, stoma and all. After her stoma bag leaks in public, Bethany's usual night at the Rovers takes a terrible turn, forcing her to leave the scene in a state of shame. Natalie Tibble, a 39-year-old PE teacher who had a stoma operation 18 months ago because of ulcerative colitis and has been crucial in helping Lucy with the Cory plot, understands this event better than anybody else. She revealed, anyone who has had a stoma can relate to Bethany's feelings of embarrassment when her bag leaks. When my purse spilled in public for the first time, I was in a cafe, and it was really embarrassing. You feel so self-conscious and I can remember running to the toilet and bursting into tears because I felt so embarrassed. But Natalie shares how she overcame such difficult circumstances. She now has extra materials on hand, is ready for anything, and approaches mishaps from a different angle. Since that first day in public, my stoma bag has leaked numerous times, including on the school playing field where I teach, she continues. However, I've come to understand that while you may experience unpleasant days, everything is okay in the end. I've always got my trusted bag full of spare clothes and stoma bags with me wherever I go. The purpose of this Coronation Street plot is to educate viewers about the challenges faced by the 1 in 225 individuals in the UK who have a stoma. Anyone who has had a stoma can relate to Bethany's feelings of embarrassment when her bag leaks. When my purse spilled in public for the first time, I was in a cafe, and it was really embarrassing. You feel so self-conscious and I can remember running to the toilet and bursting into tears because I felt so embarrassed. Since that initial public appearance, my stoma bag has leaked numerous times, including on the school field where I teach. However, I've come to understand that while you may experience unpleasant days, everything is okay in the end. I've always got my trusted bag full of spare clothes and stoma bags with me wherever I go. The Colostomy UK charity has also provided advice to the show in addition to Natalie's advice. The present plotline attempts to show that people with stomas may live full lives, even though it is emotional and often upsetting. It is really important to show that Bethany will be able to lead a normal life in the future and do all the things she did before, Lucy said, adding that Bethany is now feeling extremely ashamed and embarrassed and is struggling with guilt about her condition being self-inflicted. But I wouldn't like it if Bethany was really sad all the time, because it's so important to show how she's going to be absolutely fine. Lucy was dedicated to a realistic portrayal and genuinely appreciated Natalie's input. I got a lot of insightful information from Natalie, she admitted. Everything she shared with me was really beneficial. She informed me about her experience getting a stoma bag, including all of the difficulties she encountered but also how it didn't necessarily have a bad effect on her life. After all treatments failed, Natalie, who lives in North London, had a stoma inserted in February 2023. She currently lives a busy and happy life playing rugby, teaching physical education, and mingling in pubs. Natalie said she felt honored to be a consultant for the soap opera and to offer her knowledge. Mother of three and brain tumor survivor Natalie has talked about the emotional journey she went through, which is reflected on screen by Bethany from Coronation Street. Actress Lucy Fallon received compliments from Natalie for her after other treatments failed. Natalie, who lives in North London, had a stoma fitted in February 2023. Natalie says she feels privileged to be able to share her story and serve as an advisor to the soap opera. 
She is currently leading a happy and fulfilled life, teaching physical education in a secondary school, going to pubs, and even playing rugby. However, she acknowledges that witnessing Bethany's suffering on TV has also reminded her of how difficult it was for her in the beginning. Life does change when you have a stoma and it has been an honor to advise Lucy, Natalie says, praising Lucy for her incredibly accurate depiction of how it feels. You can be left thinking my life is over, and watching Bethany's struggles on screen has brought it all back to me about how I initially felt, Natalie said, recalling her own struggles. I had a lot of trouble at first too. Lucy was great in wanting to know so much and, as I stressed to her, it is just as important to show the positives and the positive impact a stoma can have on your life, she said, expressing her admiration for Lucy's commitment to learning about the realities of living with a stoma. I'm evidence that you can live a typical existence. As Natalie put it, I hadn't been feeling very well for years and having a stoma has given me back my life. She also talked about how having a stoma had improved her health. Like her fictional character, Natalie was initially embarrassed by a leaky stoma but now manages the situation with ease. Uncertainties in interpersonal relationships mirrored Bethany's narrative, as Natalie acknowledged, when I first had my stoma, it most definitely affected my confidence, just as Corey is showing, and said, I kept thinking nobody would like me with a bag, among other worries that are typical of many in her circumstances. In addition, I was concerned about what would occur if my luggage unexpectedly leaked during any private moments. My friends kept telling me that if someone didn't like me just because I had my bag, then they were a waste of space, and of course they were right. Although she keeps quiet about her private adventures, Natalie acknowledges that her initial anxieties about being accepted were unjustified. Although she refrains from giving away Corey spoilers, she expresses hope that Bethany would soon recognize Daniel's love as sincere. I am currently single, but I have dated since my stoma and when it came to intimacy, they completely understood, Natalie says, sharing her personal romantic experiences after undergoing stoma surgery. At first, I was a little uncomfortable, but they never made me feel uncomfortable. Even though the previous relationship didn't last, it provided her with perspective, even though it didn't work out, it taught me not to worry about the future. Life is too brief to be preoccupied. For addressing the psychological effects of having a stoma, the actress praises the program. According to teasers, Bethany descends into a deeper depression before locating help from the community. Like Bethany, I did need to have some counseling, as I lost a lot of confidence after the stoma, Natalie says, echoing her character's path and recognizing that many people struggle because of little resources. I was quite fortunate. I had Kirsty, my mother, who was a rock. However, the counseling was also very beneficial to me. Colostomy UK also provided excellent support. Now that she is feeling better and more resilient, Natalie is sharing her experience working with Corey to encourage other people who have stomas. I have always been very sporty and I love playing contact rugby now for Colostomy UK's team, she says. I used to play rugby before I was sick, and now that I have had my stoma, I can play it again. I've been playing for about a year, and I go out whenever I feel like it. Everyone at my school has been incredibly helpful, and every student is aware of my stoma. Now that I have a stoma, I feel so much better. I don't care if people notice my bag underneath my clothes when I'm out, I'm just going about my life. I'm really honest about it all and refuse to let it define who I am. Natalie believes that soon, viewers will witness Bethany living life to the fullest again. She states, my life isn't perfect, I had a leak yesterday, but I am in a great place. I hope this storyline will help others and make people realize it's okay to ask for help, too. Lucy, who is thrilled to draw attention to this crucial topic, believes Natalie's optimism has led her to believe that Bethany's journey should conclude happily. She continues, it's important to highlight that Bethany isn't going to be restricted in anything that she does just because she's got a stoma bag, and that life will be normal. Spoiler alert, in the latest Coronation Street drama, Bethany Platt's emotional journey continues as she grapples with the aftermath of a life-threatening medical procedure and its impact on her personal life. Lucy Fallon, who plays Bethany, delivers a moving performance that resonates with many viewers as Bethany struggles with self-consciousness and intimacy after having a stoma fitted following a botched liposuction surgery. The storyline has sparked important conversations about the realities of living with a stoma, the emotional toll it takes, and the support needed to overcome it. 
In the latest Coronation Street twist, Bethany Platt, played by the brilliant Lucy Fallon, is faced with an emotional and life-altering challenge that is both physical and psychological. After a botched liposuction surgery left her with a perforated bowel and life-threatening sepsis, Bethany's recovery was not only complicated by the physical toll but also by the emotional pain of dealing with the realities of having a stoma. But as we delve deeper into her journey, it's clear that Bethany's struggles are not just about her condition, they're about her coming to terms with the impact it has on her relationships, her sense of self-worth, and her future. The recent Coronation Street scenes showcasing Bethany's breakdown when her boyfriend, Daniel Barlow, saw her stoma bag for the first time have left viewers emotionally devastated. Her raw pain and self-disgust, powerfully portrayed by Lucy Fallon, left fans unable to look away as she spiraled into a fit of hysteria, pushing Daniel away and demanding that he leave. It's a scene that resonates deeply with anyone who has ever faced body image struggles or felt humiliated by a medical condition, especially one that's as personal as a stoma. It's important to show Bethany will be able to lead a normal life. Lucy Fallon, committed to portraying Bethany's journey with authenticity, has shared her thoughts on the significance of this storyline. It's really important to show that Bethany will be able to lead a normal life in the future and do all the things she did before, she says. Bethany feels deeply embarrassed and ashamed at present, grappling with guilt over her condition being self-inflicted. But I wouldn't like it if Bethany was really sad all the time, because it's so important to show how she's going to be absolutely fine. Lucy's dedication to ensuring a truthful portrayal of life with a stoma has led her to consult with people who have real-life experience, most notably PE teacher Natalie Tipple. Natalie, who had a stoma fitted in February 2023, has become a key advisor for Coronation Street and has been instrumental in helping Lucy understand the emotional and practical aspects of living with a stoma. Natalie's own journey of coping with her condition provides insight into the complex emotional hurdles that Bethany, as a character, is facing. Natalie Tibble, From Embarrassment to Empowerment Natalie Tibble's story mirrors Bethany's in many ways. Like Bethany, Natalie struggled with the sudden loss of confidence after her stoma operation. Initially embarrassed by leaks, she recalls her first experience in a cafe when her stoma bag leaked in public, leading her to run to the toilet in tears, feeling overwhelmed with shame. You feel so self-conscious, she recalls. I can remember running to the toilet and bursting into tears because I felt so embarrassed. But what sets Natalie apart is her journey of empowerment. My stoma bag has leaked many times since that first day in public, including on the school playing field where I teach. But I've learned to realize that yes, you can have some bad days, but it is actually all okay, she says. Now, Natalie feels confident enough to lead an active and fulfilling life. I always have spare clothes and stoma bags with me wherever I go, she adds. It's not a big deal anymore. Natalie's story is one of resilience, and it offers hope for Bethany's character arc. Over time, she learned to accept her stoma and its impact on her life, and she's now sharing her experiences to help others feel less alone. I feel so much healthier now with a stoma. I'm getting on with my life and I don't care if people see my bag or not under my clothes when I'm out, Natalie explains. From self-disgust to self-acceptance. Bethany's journey mirrors Natalie's in many ways, but for now, she's struggling to come to terms with her new reality. As the weeks unfold on Coronation Street, viewers will see Bethany retreat from intimacy, convinced that Daniel will be disgusted by her stoma. This fear is especially heightened when, on a date at the Rovers, her stoma bag leaks in public, leaving her humiliated and emotionally devastated. It's a heartbreaking moment for Bethany, one that reflects the deep vulnerability that comes with living with a medical condition that is often hidden from public view. However, as the storyline progresses, Bethany begins to learn that her fears are largely unfounded. Daniel, portrayed by Rob Mallard, gently reassures her that he loves her, stoma bag and all. His support becomes a crucial turning point in Bethany's emotional recovery, as she starts to realize that her worth is not defined by her medical condition. As Natalie points out, Coronation Street is tackling the psychological impact of living with a stoma head-on. Bethany is going through something that a lot of people with stomas go through, she says. When you first get your stoma, it can feel like your life is over, and watching Bethany's struggles on screen has brought it all back to me about how I initially felt. Raising Awareness Through Authentic Storytelling 
This powerful storyline is not just about Bethany's personal struggles, it's about raising awareness for the 1 in 225 people living with a stoma in the UK. By portraying the emotional, physical, and psychological challenges of living with a stoma, Coronation Street is shining a light on an issue that is often overlooked. Lucy Fallon, through her portrayal of Bethany, is committed to showing the complexity of living with a stoma and the fact that people with stomas can still lead full, active, and fulfilling lives. It's important to highlight that Bethany isn't going to be restricted in anything that she does just because she's got a stoma bag, and that life will be normal, she says. The storyline is set to highlight not just the difficulties, but also the triumphs of living with a stoma, with Bethany eventually finding peace with her condition and embracing a future full of possibilities. Natalie's Final Thoughts, Hope for the Future Natalie, who now plays rugby and enjoys a happy, active life, is optimistic for Bethany's future. I hope this storyline will help others and make people realize it's okay to ask for help, too, she says. Life isn't perfect, but you can absolutely get through the tough times. My life has gotten better, and I'm hoping Bethany's will too. As viewers watch Bethany's story unfold on Coronation Street, it's clear that this emotional journey will inspire and empower many who are living with similar conditions. With the help of advisors like Natalie Tibble, the soap is offering a powerful and realistic portrayal of life with a stoma, one that highlights both the challenges and the triumphs of living with such a condition. Stay tuned as Bethany's journey continues, because despite the obstacles, she will learn that life is still full of love, laughter, and new beginnings. Subsection 1.4, Simon Barlow, A Legacy of Trouble Host, in an even more dramatic tone Then, there's Simon Barlow After 15 years on the cobbles, Alex Bain, who has portrayed Simon since he was just 7 years old, is leaving the show The emotional roller coaster of Simon's journey, from his troubled youth to his volatile relationship with his family, has kept fans hooked but after Peter's departure, it seems like Simon's own journey is nearing its end. What kind of explosive storyline will this character leave behind? Could Simon's departure lead to a tragic or even criminal turn of events? Cut to Simon's most intense moments, showing his anger, sadness, and struggles. Subsection 1.5, Tracy McDonald, off to Spain, but for how long? Host, questioning. One of Weatherfield's longest-standing residents, Tracy McDonald, has already left for Spain in April. But is this goodbye for good, or will she be back to stir up more drama? Fans are speculating that this quiet exit may not be the last time we see Tracy on our screens. Could there be a twist in her sunny Spanish life? And will Tommy Orpington be the cause of her inevitable return? Clip of Tracy's dramatic moments on the show. Section 2, Who's Returning in 2024? Host, with a hopeful tone. While we're saying goodbye to some iconic characters, 2024 also brings the return of some familiar faces, leaving fans thrilled for what's to come. Subsection 2.1, Alia Nazir, is love in the air upon her return? Host. After her brief departure for a work placement in Dublin, Alia Nazir is set to return to Weatherfield in 2024. Fans are eager to know if Alia's return means picking up where she left off with Adam Barlow. Will their romance rekindle, or will there be more drama in store for the pair? Cut to Alia and Adam's moments on screen. Subsection 2.2, Summer Spellman, will she return to her family? Host, with a more emotional tone. Summer Spellman's exit was hard to watch, leaving her stepfather Paul behind as she followed her dreams in America. However, with Paul's condition worsening, will Summer return in time to say goodbye to him? This emotional return could tear at the hearts of fans, and what will it mean for her family relationships moving forward? Clip of Summer's goodbye scene, with Paul urging her to go after her dreams. Subsection 2.3, A Possible Michelle Connor Return? Host, with excitement building. And the rumors keep flying about one of Coronation Street's most iconic characters, Michelle Connor. Fans are hoping that Kim Marsh will return to reprise her role as Michelle, and there's speculation about a potential romance with Carla Connor. Could Michelle and Carla be the next power couple on the cobbles? We'll just have to wait and see. Clip of Michelle and Carla's close moments, leaving fans wanting more. Section 3, Who's New to Coronation Street in 2024? Host 
With so many departures and returns, it's also time to meet some fresh faces who are about to make their mark on Weatherfield. Could these new characters change everything? Subsection 3.1, Joel Deering's Parents, More Drama to Come? Host, Teasing Although Joel is gone, it seems his legacy will live on through his parents. Actor Callum Lil revealed that Joel's parents will be arriving in Weatherfield soon. What will their arrival mean for the town? Could they shake things up or bring even more drama into the already turbulent lives of the residents? Cut to teaser images of Joel's parents arriving on the cobbles. Host, with a final tease. So, there you have it, Coronation Street fans, the major departures, returns, and new arrivals for 2024. Who are you most excited to see go, and who are you hoping will make a dramatic comeback? Stay tuned because this year is sure to be filled with twists, turns, and shocking revelations that will keep us all on the edge of our seats. Make sure you subscribe for more updates, spoilers, and everything you need to know about Weatherfield's ongoing saga. End with a call to action encouraging fans to comment and share their theories on the future of Coronation Street.